There was something different about this year's biggest animal competitions. For instance, when was the last time the Super Bowl competition brought a tear to your eye? I'd like to have a moment of silence for these two people that have passed on in this past year. Thank you. Bob Schultz called for a moment of silence in the pavilion in honor of some show competitors and supporters who had died the past year. The tang of sorrow made the announcement of this year's winner more sweet. And that breaks a new record. Not only did the winning bull break the State Fair record with a weight of 3,404 pounds, it was a bowl seasoned in honor of one of the deceased, Joe Holub. Joe had been showing bowls in this ring for years, with five Super Bowl blue ribbons to his credit. The Stall Cup family, friends with the Holubs for many years, and co-competitors in the Super Bowl contest, did what rural friends do. They helped Joe's family with their chores. Well, for one thing, Joe was a great friend and it was, he was a great loss. But not only did the Stall Cups help run the Holub Farm, merging their business with the Holubs to do so, they also took it a step further. They took up the care of this bull, an animal that every day needs to be fed an entire bale of hay, five buckets of feed, and 30 gallons of water every day. Our main goal was to win it for Joe. Yeah, that's our goal. It turns out that this somewhat silly contest means something to both families. Perhaps that's what all traditions are. A means of standing in the boots of those who have gone before us. In the other show rings, family and tradition were also topics of conversation. The Big Ram competition had 10 entries this year, three of them from the Hammonds Farm in Clarion. The winner is Leonard, who is Kelly Hammonds Suffolk Ram. Sure enough, one of this family's rams won, a 432 and a half pound Suffolk called Leonard and raised by Kelly Hammond. Uh, we have about 400 acres, and then we have about 120 head of yos, about 600 head of finishing lambs, cattle, hogs, chickens, ducks, you name it, we've got it. Kelly is a college student majoring in animal science who's considering continuing in the family business. She probably had hundreds of choices of what to do with her summer vacation, and of all those choices, she decided that feeding a sheep more grain than usual would be a fun thing to do. She chose family, and she chose tradition. Just a few buildings away, yet another big animal competition had a side story. He is 1,117 pounds. Congratulations. The winning super swine, or big pig if you prefer, weighed in at a hefty 1,117 pounds. Hey, it's been a family uh, event for the last three or four years we've been coming down and doing it. And instead of coming from a pig farm, it came from an Ames, Iowa family, the Kingsberries. How many pigs do they have? Two, Two big fours. <laughs> That's it. They told us that hamming up this hog was a family adventure. Everyone on Team Buddy pitched in. We feed them a lot of cinnamon rolls and pastries and watermelon and feed and grain and water them down. And water them down. So we learned something about these silly shows this year. The competitions at the fair can lead to a short term thrill of winning. But just under the surface, there's something else building up layer after layer of activity that brings folks together. It's the thing sometimes called tradition that could also be known as love. <laughs>